Okay, YouTube fam, here we are today. Um, as you can see, we got this big old lusty girl behind us hooked up. I'm gonna try out my Timbrens. Basically, I'm pulling my camper out because, let's see here, March 30th, um, we're gonna be going into camping soon here in a few weeks. Now, it snowed this morning, joke's on me. I mean, wash out some of that light. It's bright as shit out there now. Finally have some sun. So we got the camper hooked up. Um, before anybody gets mad, we aren't driving anywhere, but we got a cold beer to start this process. This is my first, so I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh, drinking and driving, I'm staying in my yard. So um, literally you've had like two sips. Got them ready though for when I get the camper pulled out and start cleaning it up. So I just installed the 5160s. Some of you guys saw that video. Um, so if you didn't, I'm getting ready to try them out with the Timberon bump stops. Now, like I said, I'm only pulling this into my driveway to start getting it cleaned up. The outside's filthy. Inside needs to be gone through. Not ready to dewinterize this unit yet, but we're going to get this, this shit show on the road. So, uh, some people talk about these trucks not being great tow rigs because the rear coils, real easy fixes for that. One, your weight distribution hitch, set that up correctly. You won't need any help, but I added the Timberens just for a little extra piece of insurance. So um, I'm gonna rotate the camera to the front. I gotta pause the video because when I do it on the back camera, it's in 4K. Um, so I'm trying to see here. Yeah, the back video or the back camera is 4K, so I'm gonna have to pause this and start over. I'll show you guys one real cool feature on these trucks that not a lot of other, other ones have. Yeah, so these, these trucks, they have awesome instrumentation. All this stuff's great to have on a tow rig. Trans, oil. Uh, ooh, I'm getting due for an oil change. So there's temperatures. Here's one of my favorite things. So the trucks that have the 8.4 Uconnect, this is awesome. Check this out. When you're driving down the road, even if you're not in reverse, you can pull up that backup camera, check out your hitch and stuff. As you can see, there's no weight distribution bars, anything like that. We're just hooked up to the B&W hitch. I do have the chains on. Another thing I'll show you guys, the Takancha uh, P3 brake controller. It's awesome. It's intelligent. It learns your driving styles and all that fun stuff. So there's that. My truck did not come with, I don't need a heat steering on, the uh, factory brakes, which is fine. It does have a bunch of other neat features. So let me pull this out and then we're going to continue the video. I'll show you how much it sags with the camper and nothing else, just the Timberans. So, so real, right. real quick on this, we're pulling it out here. Jesus, look at those tolerances on that side. I was a little bit too close on the left. On the right, we're golden. This thing's a treat to back up in there. Uh, a lot of nice conversations with whoever's helping me. I'm really nice, but if you aren't a good backer, that shit sucks. Okay, bye. All right, so I know I took a little bit to film the last installment of this Timbrin video. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get a towing video because I was by myself that day, um, towing with the camper and stuff, not, not exactly fun. Um, they ride great. The truck sags with the Timberans, maybe an inch, inch and a half. That's with an eight to nine, 800 pound tongue weight, I believe. I'll have to look up the stats, I don't remember exactly. Um, and that's with no weight distribution hitch or anything like that, which I do have weight distribution hitch for when I tow normally. I'll put some pictures at the end of this video of how it sits with no hitch and the Timberans. And um, I've got another very exciting modification coming up this week. As you guys remember, I talked about my Bilstein 5160s in the rear. And I'm coming up with something to complement the front. So anyways, I'll throw those pictures at the end of the video. Expect an install video and uh, review when the new parts get here Thursday. And uh, it'll have to be my last purchase for just a little bit because it's shit's gotten wild. So also, you can see that 1320 video sticker in the back window. I'll throw a picture of that at the end of this video too. It's kind of funny. My truck was made in Mexico and I love 1320 video and you know do it for Dale and Cletus and all that shit it's just it's fun to watch man they're cool guys and you know I'm a gearhead of heart so uh had to had to pay homage to the the Rams motherland and do the uh 
Mexican flag one, you know, going racing in Mexico and all that fun stuff. So anyways, hope you all have a great day. It's 70 degrees and sunny here. And uh, like I said, check in here in a few days. We'll have another hopefully pretty cool video. Um, I'm, I'm super stoked about it. So anyways, y'all take care. We'll see you soon.